Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we do have a budget update. So if you're completely new, what we typically do is actually share how we ended up spending in the previous month after we'd set the budget. So we'll be looking at how we spent our money in September. And then I'm also going to be sharing some of our numbers when it comes to October. So you can see how we also plan to budget our money during that month. As always, I'm excited to share what's been going on with our money. So let's get started. So first off, let's have a look and see what happened in the month of September. Now, if you do like the look of this template, this is also something that you can access as well. So this is something that we typically use every single month when we're doing our budget so if you're interested it does come with a net worth statement a sinking funds calculator and then you have the choice between a monthly budget template or a weekly budget template depending on how you get paid so if you do want to check it out i will make sure that is linked in the description below for you but if we move over to september we actually started the month off slightly in the red we only went over by about a pound so we included that in our budget and then when it came to our income that of course came in and we used that to pay for our savings and investments our essential bills and also our sinking funds as well so if you want more detail when it comes to looking at all of those numbers i typically do that in the previous budget update so i will leave a link up here for you and in the description below if you do want to check it out but let's move on to the exciting thing which is our general spending and see whether we ended up going over budget or under budget with that so when it comes to our general spending the reason why we do like to track this and see how we've actually done is because it helps us to then think about how we're going to budget our money for the next month so if there are areas that maybe we've gone over on we can then you know discuss and see okay do we want to actually make sure we increase our budget for that or do we think it's fine do we want to decrease and things like that so I would definitely recommend tracking your general spending if you do want to be a lot more consistent with sticking to your budget so let's start off with transport first so we originally had a budget of 125 for transport and that includes public transport or petrol and in terms of transport we ended up spending just over 126 so definitely not bad when it came to the transport category let's now move over to groceries and this is where i will say it was an absolute mess okay we went way over budget when it came to groceries and again it is not because we were buying all of these like extravagant things our spending didn't really change like in terms of what we were buying didn't really change when it came to groceries however we spent a lot more money which obviously indicates that food prices of course are still increasing so our original budget for groceries was 185 for the month and that meant that on average we ideally wanted to spend around 46 to 47 a week on groceries however we ended up spending 218 for the month of September. Yes, 218, which means that on average, instead of spending around 46 to 47 a week, we were actually spending on average 54 to 55 a week just on groceries. So just seeing that number indicates to me that we are gonna have to change our groceries budget, especially if we feel like this is probably going to happen again. I feel like we will end up spending something that's slightly similar next month. So we'll definitely reflect that in next month's budget. But for the month of September, we definitely went over when it came to groceries. And if you're liking this video so far, then feel free to give me a thumbs up as it really does help to support the channel. Plus I'm sure you know, it's free let's have a look at toiletries now and we had an original budget of 40 for that category and instead of spending 40 we were under budget this month and so we only ended up spending 31 for the month of September then when it comes to our own individual spending so for this month we allocated 100 for our spending and I think I mentioned this in the previous budget update but we had actually increased that during the summer months but now that we're heading into autumn or fall we have decided to bring that back to 100 because that should be enough and to be honest it was actually enough for me I was able to save a little bit of money which is definitely a first I usually never save any of my spending money 
money at all but I was able to save you know about 20 here or there which I think I was quite proud of myself and of course my husband always saves his money anyway so no surprise there let's now move over to personal care so we originally had a budget for 30 on personal care and we ended up spending 30 on that category which is great we then move over to date night so we had an original budget of 90 for date night however we were actually under budget for this month which is very different to how we usually treat our date night usually we'll end up going over especially if we have extra money lying around we will typically spend that money so we only ended up spending 57 instead of 90 which of course was great for our budget then next up we have our gym membership so that's 42.98 which is a direct debit we also have disney plus which is 7.99 again another direct debit for miscellaneous we had a budget of 35 and for this we went slightly over we ended up spending 43 for miscellaneous instead of 35 so we definitely went over there too and then we paid out 45 for my husband's rugby games plus we also had some extra change so we added that to our pennies pot so anytime we do have extra change or if we spend money it will round it up to the nearest pound and then it will also add that onto a little pot and so because we use a zero based budget we decided to add some of that money into our pennies pot for the month of september so as you can see Although we did go over quite a lot on our groceries budget, we were able to balance it out in other areas. I think just the fact that we didn't eat out as much definitely helped. And so we ended up sticking to the budget to the T pretty much for this month of September. So of course I'm happy about that, but let's now have a look at October and see how we're planning to budget our money for this month. Okay, so moving to October, we pretty much stuck to the budget. So we didn't go under or over, which is great. So we don't need to include that here. In terms of the month of October, uh, this is going to be slightly different just because we will be budgeting for five weeks instead so this will be reflected on some of our spending as you will see later on in the video in terms of the income we have both my income and also my husband's income i do blank it out for privacy but we will be walking through how much we plan on saving and also all of our other spending so let's go through that now so when it comes to our savings and investments we are currently putting 1200 into our savings for the month of October and then we also have 50 each going into both of our investments so for me specifically that will go into my stocks and shares ISA and so in total we have 1300 that we will be pulling towards savings and investments for this month which is great so I'm definitely very thankful to God that we are still able to save quite a decent amount despite you know everything else that is going on when it comes to the economy next up let's talk about our essential bills so when it comes to our essential bills for rent we currently pay 1150 our water bill is around 52 electricity and gas is around 117 cancel tax is around 136 broadband is around 26 a month icloud is 99 pence we also have our sim contract so for my husband it's 12 pounds a month mine is 10 pounds a month and if you are in the uk and you're interested in thinking about a new contract we use voxy so that also includes and the social media data as well which is great so i'll leave a link in the description below if you do want to check that out and then last but not least we also have our tithes charity and giving because as christians giving is important to us no matter what our income is we will always give a proportion of our income so that is our essential bills then we've got our sinking funds so if you're not sure what sinking funds are these are basically just expenses that you want to prepare for in advance so you can basically save up for them little by little over time and then hopefully you then have a pot to use when that expense comes up so for us we have a pot for car maintenance and we're currently putting 50 aside for that at the moment we don't have to set aside any money for our dentist appointment because we have enough in the pot which is great but then we also have another 10 going towards my husband's rugby registration another 15 for a pot of clothes just in case we ever want to buy clothes another 15 going towards a pot for any random presents that we want to buy another 10 going towards skincare so if there's anything that we want to buy when it comes to our skin we have money for that and then also another 40 for a wedding pot and that is because 
because we have close friends getting married next year and we know we need to prepare for that in advance because weddings are expensive. So in total, we have about 140 going into our sinking funds, which again is quite consistent as well compared to last month too. Then let's move over to our spending. So as I mentioned, this has slightly been tweaked, especially because we are budgeting for five weeks. So with transport, we have budgeted 150. So again, that should cover the fifth week as well. When it comes to groceries, we have budgeted 250 for the month of October. So as I mentioned before, on average, we wanted to spend around 46 to 47 a week. Since we went over last month, we've increased it. So we're hoping to spend around 50 a week instead. Again, if we completely go over that, we'll have to then increase it again. But let's try with 50 a week and see how we go. And yeah, if we go over, then we go over then we've also got 120 going towards our spending so again because we're budgeting for five weeks we have extra money for the fifth week personal care that remains at 30 because that should still be enough for this month date night this has remained as 90 for the month so hopefully again that should be okay as well our gym membership that is still the same so that's 43.98 disney plus is also still the same so that's 7.99 miscellaneous we have left that as 30 so hopefully that should also still be okay too and then we've got my husband's rugby games which is another 45 and because we had a little bit of money left over about 30p not much but you know uh because we had that we decided to just add that onto our pennies pot so that can again grow over time so in terms of our spending we are hoping to spend around 932 for the month of October. Now, if you are someone who maybe struggles with the budgeting process and it's really stopping you from being able to save a lot more money, and this is something that you really want to work on, but maybe you want a bit more support, then make sure you do check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching because what I've been able to do is help so many clients create a budget that works really well for them, allowing them to save a lot more money whilst at the same time, they don't feel restricted in their spending either. So make sure you do check that out if you haven't already. What you can do is just book a free call just to find out more about working with me so i'll link more information up here for you and in the description below but in terms of the budget for september i'm definitely happy that we were able to stick to it even if we went over on our groceries budget it's okay but i'm also looking forward to seeing how we do in october too so if you did like this video then please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and let me know in the comments how did your budget go for the month of september and have you set out your budget for the month of october i do post every tuesday so if you would like to know more then of course you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you next week